Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining us again today. Got a very short video tutorial for you today that will show you how to make a membership website on Weebly. Just before I get into that, there's a link to Weebly in the description of this video just down below, which will take you to a free trial version of it. So you'll be able to utilize Weebly if you haven't seen it before, or if you're looking to give it a go, just by clicking that link for absolutely free. So when you first log into Weebly, um, you'll be presented usually with a wizard, which I'm about to show you how to get to just in case you can't see it when you first log in. So this will be the dashboard that you see otherwise. Hit my site in the top right hand corner and then, and then select add site. That will then launch this wizard that usually launches for the first time when you log into Weebly. Um, so obviously, you know, you're just going to need to make a website at this point unless you need a store mechanism, which also can be added at a later point. Um, so I'm just going to click that and you would normally take some time then to kind of browse the templates that are available to you in Weebly. There's not a huge range of them, so it won't take that long. And, you know, select the template that most resembles what you're looking for and then evolve it and change it and modify the content to kind of suit what you need. That's the idea behind that system. Um, so we'll just go for this one, with the burger. And once you've selected a site, you can you know preview it and have a look through it. Look at the formatting and then select start editing in the top right hand corner. That'll launch the website browser. Now, you know, by creating the membership mechanism, you're basically, you know, going to need to create then pages for your members. So that's where the members only a, um, you know, site will exist and that's where the page is where you know the the content which your members can access will exist so you know obviously there's a couple of forms that are available to you um the a couple of them you know you know you could utilize and, and evolve into into what you need the contact form obviously is is one of them um so if we drag that into the site just for a second um, you know, you'd, you'd create a page around this and allow your members to kind of join via a form like this. Um, and obviously, you know, you could uh, single click on the form, go to form options, and that will allow you to, um, you know, edit the, the settings of that form, you know, rename it, uh, give it a capture, you know, so, so it doesn't... Um, allow bots and, and you know makes it a little bit kind of bot proof um then obviously you know when you single click on the form itself um you get access to the settings for those specific fields so if there's something that you want to make you know required as mandatory before the form is able to be submitted i'd recommend doing that for every field really you know that you've got on your form and then the other um sort of aspects then if you wanted to collect more information is that you could just drag them in from this uh, builder here on the left you know so you could sort of just drag in another text box and um, ask for whatever you need there really as well by clicking on it and you know whatever um, you know and that that would sort of create a new field so to speak so you'd create a form like that to capture all of the data that you'd want from your members and uh, once you save that then, that form, and then obviously publish the site. So you're going to want to then, you know, create pages in the website once you've created, you know, the basic site for non-members. And then when you're adding a page, you know, whatever that is, um, you could, if you give me a, a second, select that particular page. And then when you've got the page selected, if you go to visibility and then select public, that would allow you then to make that page members only. So that's where you could sort of, you know, house your members only blog or, or whatever sort of videos or content or uh, that you're selling to members if you're charging them a fee for joining your website perhaps or whatever it is that you wanna kind of put behind your membership wall, that would be how you do that and make sure that all of the pages that you've created for your members are set exactly like that to members or groups. Once you do that then, that'll obviously prompt you to pay uh, for the monthly fee. So obviously you've got to do that, you know, to unlock that mechanism in Weebly. Um, and then that will just sort of assign that page as a, a members only page, you know. So that would, ha 
you know, be the the sort of basic setup of a of a membership only site then. And that concludes the video tutorial. So like I said, if you want to go ahead and try and build something like this in Weebly now, just spend some time on it. That's the best way to learn. Link is down below to do so. And that's a free trial version as well. If you've enjoyed the video and you want to see more content of this nature, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any questions or suggestions for future videos, give them uh, as a comment down below. Thank you very much.